Hey everybody, it's Paula from the Real Polish Fanatic Vlog and Jewelry by RPF. Thank you for stopping by my little corner of YouTube and spending a little bit of your day with me. I appreciate it. Today, I'm going to talk about what you do when you're going through your nail polish and you find one that has evaporated into a um, lump. It won't move. I have a couple of them here and I'm going to try and revive them with you. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to turn the camera around and jump right in. All right, I start every video with what's on my nails in case you're wondering as you see my hands moving through the camera. So today I have my Christmas manicure on. I put this on for Christmas Day. It's from Different Dimensions. It's called You're My Soul Santa. I did feature this one uh, last week in my favorite Christmas polishes for this year. This is an older polish though and I don't think it is available anymore. But it is just a really pretty micro glitter. Green, red, gold, little bit of blue twinkling in there. Just really shiny, really sparkly. It's dark outside right now, so I only have my ot light and my ring light, so it's not showing it off to its best, but it is really a pretty one. All right, so I'm gonna show you two polishes that as I was going through my nail polish collection, looking for some of those Christmas polishes to showcase last week, I found two of them, and this is nothing against the brand. It can happen with any brand. Usually it's kind of user error, and this is my fault um, for letting this happen. But um, I have this polish here, and you can see if I turn it upside down, it doesn't move. It is like a solid lump in there. And I also have this one, which is a little bit harder to see, but the same thing, it just won't move. Both of these are reflective glitter polishes, and what I did was I did not clean off my neck before I put it away. So it's entirely my fault. If you don't clean off the neck, especially with glitter and especially, especially with uh, reflective glitter, if you leave um, some of the residue there around the, the neck of the cap, it allows air to get into the bottle which will then evaporate what's inside the bottle. So it's very easy to not let this happen. And if I had been a little more careful, you just have to take some acetone on the cotton round and just clean that off. So we'll do that. And again, it's nothing against these brands. It's entirely my fault in this instance because I did not clean the necks off. You can see it's just a gloopy mess in there. So we're gonna open both of these bottles. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the necks right now so that I don't forget to do it again. So both of these were new polishes. I have not worn them at all. So I can see, you can see how much is kind of missing from evaporation in this one. In case you're wondering what these are, this one's called Stupid Swings. It was from Polish Pickup in June 2022. And um, so it is uh, pretty, it has evaporated quite a bit. This one's not quite as bad. And if you're wondering what this one is, this is Colors de Carol Glowing Forest. And so what you need to do to revive these is refill as much as what has evaporated. So if you have a brand new polish and you you open it for the first time and it's just a little bit thick, you'll wanna just um, maybe start with like 10 or 15 drops of thinner and then kind of check the, um, you know, how it's how it is, if it's getting more to your liking or not, and um, just keep adding a few drops at a time. If you look at nail polish thinner, I have this one from OPI. This isn't actually, I'm just using this bottle. But um, OPI thinner, nail, nail lacquer thinner, is a good one to get. What you wanna look for is one that just has these two ingredients here, butyl acetate and ethyl acetate. That's really all you need in a nail polish thinner, unless you're trying to thin an older polish that might have tulene in it, 
then you might want to find one that has tooling and I think Seche Restore would have that if you have older, older, um, not three free nail polishes. But um, the OPI lacquer is a good one to get. What, I, what I'm doing is I actually have this one from KB Shimmer and it also just has those same two ingredients. You want to make sure the ingredients don't list um, acetone because that will just break down your polish over time and totally ruin it. And you also want to kind of stay away from ones that have heptane. I know the Beauty Secrets from Sally's has heptane in it and that can um, uh, mess up any glitter polishes that can kind of corrode the glitters and uh, just sort of ruin that polish over time. It won't be anything that will happen in a week or a month, but over years, if you use um, um, thinners with heptane or acetone, it will eventually probably ruin your polishes. But I bought this one from KB Shimmer, and when I bought it, it did not have a um, like a funnel cap like this one. If I unscrew this one, this one's got like a little dropper cap. And when I bought this from KB Shimmer, it didn't come with one. I bought another bottle since then because this one was getting low and it did come with a funnel cap. So I'm just reusing this OPI. I've just been filling this up with the KB Shimmer. But anyway, so what you want to do is you need to replace everything that has evaporated. So you can see this, since this was a new polish, I haven't used it yet. I have to put quite a bit of thinner in. So I'm just going to fill this up. You don't want to fill it so full that you can't get the brush back in but you want to you can see I'm not doing drops I'm doing like streams <laughs> you just want to put as much in there as what has evaporated because what we're doing is just replacing what's evaporated and um, hopefully we'll make this as good as new so you don't want to put so much in that when you put the brush in it it poofs out and I may have put a little too much in. Let's see. Nope, that's good. So we're just going to fill the bottle up with our thinner. So you can see I have it almost all the way full with thinner. I'm going to leave that set for a second while we fill this one up. This one won't take quite as much. On the bottles of thinner, it always says, you know, add like two drops or something like that. Two drops has never been enough even if it's a brand new polish and it's just a little thick for my liking two drops is not really going to do anything you, i pretty much start with like 15 and then go from there so on, on the back here it says add two to three drops of thinner to achieve desired consistency shake well never ever have i had two or three drops help you need like 10 15 drops usually but you can start, you know, start start small, start with just a few, and you can always add more if you're just wanting to change the consistency of a of a polish that you have. If you're trying to bring something back from being one big globby mess, then you really just do need to fill up the bottle with what's evaporated. So I'm gonna take this off the camera so I don't knock anything and just shake it. Let's see. I'm just gonna shake it. Sometimes this will take a while, depending on how long it's been evaporating and how much of a clump of polish you have in the bottle. It could take a week of just continuous shaking every, you know, every few hours when you think about it, grab it and shake it. You can always grab a toothpick and just put it in the bottle and run it around and try to get it, um, try to get it going that way. This actually worked quite well. It's already a good consistency. If you can see when I took that out, you can see it's already running smooth. And I did bring a wheel down here. We'll just swatch it on here just to show you the consistency. This one is just good as new. It was that easy. But like I said, sometimes if it has been, um, um, Dry, drying out for a while, it could be a little bit more solid than what mine was, and it may take a little bit longer, but you can always bring a nail polish back. I had one once I bought at like a flea market. It was an older OPI, and it was just a little clump of 
a massive nail polish at the bottom. There was like no liquid left at all. And I even brought that one back, but that did take probably a week to 10 days. I put the thinner in, I shook it, I left it for a while. You know, every few hours when I think of it, I'd pick it up and I'd shake it. And then eventually I got the toothpick working in there and it, I did bring that one back even. And it was just like a solid clump of polish at the bottom of a bottle. So this one is good as new. Let's see if we can bring this one back. We're just gonna shake it, shake it. And it's looking pretty good. Shaking it some more. Let's see how it's doing. This one still looks just a little thick, so let me close it up, shake. I don't know why brands aren't putting the little stainless steel balls in polish very often anymore. I kind of miss those. That would also help to um, get this going back. Let me see how this one is. So watch it here on the swatch wheel. And it is good as new. It may still be a little syrupy. It's a little thick still. So let me see. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I've got a little bit more room in the bottle. I'm going to just add a few drops. Close it up. And then shake it some more. You can kind of leave it upside down a little bit if it's taking a while. As this sits and the thinner works with the nail polish, it will continue to um, to uh, work and bring it up to a good consistency. That's pretty good. So there you go from a, a clump of polish that would not move to a workable polish once again. And again, this is nothing against these brands. It can help happen to any brand. And this was definitely user error. This was my own fault for not keeping my necks clean. And um, that is very important. I'm gonna reiterate that it's very important just to clean off your necks when you're done using your polish, especially with glitter and especially with reflective glitter because reflective glitter are little glass beads of glitter. So they'll just stand up there and they'll allow that the um, air to flow in there and um, evaporate the uh, liquid from your polish. So we brought these both back to life and they are good as new. And those were easy ones. Like I said, you could get one that will take a little bit longer, could take a week, could take two weeks even of just, you know, adding thinner, shaking it, so mixing it with a toothpick, whatever you need to do to get it mixed up a little bit. But these are good as new. All right, guys, that was reviving a dried out nail polish. These weren't too, too bad. They weren't all that old and I haven't had them that long, but um, so they were a little bit easier than other ones I've done in the past. But you can see you just have to fill up what has, and if you over thin a polish, all you have to do is leave the cap off for a little while and let some of it evaporate out on purpose and that will thicken it up a little bit too. So if you happen to have a polish and you just over thin it, just leave the cap off for a while and check it every um, like every hour or so until you get back to the consistency that you like. Hope this was helpful for you. I appreciate everybody stopping in, spending, your, spending a little bit of time with me and um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.